every house should have a PC. Hey guys, a couple of people asked what the specs of my PC were from my video with the uh, monitor switch. We are gonna completely tear my PC apart. Let's have a really good look inside. The case is actually a Corsair. Wow, I think I had this case for almost a, a year. I saw it on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace for really cheap, 30 or $40. I just simply bought it and put it in the cupboard. I don't know if it's meant to have a mesh filter on the top there, but I've noticed a lot of PCs don't have that. All right, uh, I'm gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver, aren't I? First thing I'm gonna pull out is this graphics card. Two years ago, I had to buy my son a school laptop. Decided to make it a sleeper laptop. So I made sure his laptop had a, a Thunderbolt port. And then all I did was bought a cheap external GPU case and I stole this GPU, this graphics card. I stole it out of our TV lounge room media player. Turned out that it had lights on it and it was a GTX 9080. The Nvidia uh, 900 series, so the 980, 970, they actually discontinued support. They've lost a lot of functionality on, on a lot of games. I only play Overwatch, so I know it works on Overwatch. Let's take the back off. That's tight. Turn this around. This actually came with this power supply. So I bought this as a really cheap kit. So it came with a 750 watt Cooler Master. I think it is an 80 plus bronze. The pump is on the heat block over your CPU. So the inlet from the radiator should always be higher than your pump. So air pockets don't sit around your cooling head and make your CPU overheat. All right, and there it is. All right, I don't know if you can see that motherboard. So that motherboard is a Z, Z490, 10th generation Intel chips. And the socket is, ooh, LGA1200. Yep, MSI. There it is there, MS. And it has two SSD slots. So it has the one up here, which is not occupied, which I don't have any card in because I simply slap this on a budget and then down below, you can see it has a second slot for a second one. It's like a M2 or M1 size screw, which I have no idea. They never seem to come with that screw. So I have no idea how you could fix that in unless you go out and somehow buy a screw and retrofit it. If anybody knows, leave a comment down below. Four sticks of eight gigabytes RAM, of RAM making that 32 gig all up, which is very respectable. They're non-LED, so they don't, they don't flash. Nothing in here is really. And the, the only thing on the side that you can see through the glass is the fans. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway because this system just faces the wall because I'm on the left side of the desk. And if I wanted to be fancy, I could get an inverted case or a reverse case, reverse, which are pretty rare. They're really hard to find and they always seem, seem to be sold out, but I'm not too fussed at this stage. Down the track, I might do that. That is a magnetic screwdriver. I'm just gonna pop these uh, motherboard screws out. The Z490 motherboard was superseded by the Z5, Z590 motherboard. And the difference is that SSD, that number one or number A SSD slot, uh, non-volatile memory, NVMe, M.2 slot, can, is actually for Gen 4 PCI Express speed, whereas the Z490 only has Gen 3 PCI speed on that M.2 slots. If you get a Z590 and you put in, you put in Generation 10 CPU, your number one M.2 slot won't work because the CPU doesn't have the functionality of Gen 4 PCI Express, which is pretty annoying. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to tip this on the side. So the bloke, the guy I bought this off, really nice bloke, he um, messaged me the next weekend, I think, or a few days later, and he said, oh, I had to go with the PC, and I said, I built it the next day. And he said, oh, did we forfeit the IO shield? <laughs> and I said, I did notice that it wasn't there. And he goes, <laughs> he said, I've got it right here in a zippy bag, sent me a photo of it. That's why I unscrewed 
<laughs> that motherboard so I can quickly whack that in. Make this all kosher. Yeah. Yes, that snap. That sounds like a good snap. By Jove, I think I've got it. <sighs> now I'll just put these million screws back in again. Let's get this. Be funny if it didn't last line up on the last screw. And that's it, back together. Let's see if, I have no idea if this is even gonna work. Oh, wrong way, it doesn't fit. Turn it the other way. Um, oh, so when I bought, this case was actually brand new when I bought it, even though I bought it off Marketplace second hand, still had the plastic on this glass. I met this guy and he basically built a house for $40,000. And this was only a few years ago. 40,000 is a lot of money, but for houses that's dirt cheap. And what he did was, he was a builder. So what he did was he looked at marketplace and he just basically just hoarded material. When he saw some material that could be useful for his house or in the future, he just bought it, bought paint, bought electrical cable, and I guess he bought beams and timbers. And he built quite a nice house, over 100 square meters, easily for $40,000. If you are looking to build something like a PC or even stuff around the house, you can just slowly, if you have the room, you can slowly hoard. If it's building material, you need a fair bit of room. But if it's something like a PC, a computer, I just um, had the case in the cupboard and nobody ever saw it until my son went, what's that PC case in the cupboard of the media room? And it just ended up coming in handy because got the whole system. All I needed was the case and a GPU, which I pulled out of the external GPU case that we just never used anymore. Let's give this a boot, see what happens. Oh, I've got, <laughs> got to turn the power supply on at the back. Take two. Wee, yee, 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 yee. That's not good. There we go. Poor cable management. Not good. <sighs> I love computers, but I'm not a computer channel. Integrating a PC into your house is part of home improvement. And I think every house should have a PC. A good dedicated PC YouTube channel that I would recommend is Brian from Tech Yes City. And he just lives a little bit down the highway from me. He divides his time between here and Japan, which is pretty cool. So check him out. As I said, the graphics card is probably the bottleneck in this system. It's very solid. It's got really good RAM, it's got a great CPU. I guess you have to compare it to something, so probably a good comparison would be against a PS5. Let's have a look. So a PS5 is equivalent to a CPU that is an i7-10700K. So that's the ne next step up from the i5-10600K. So the i7-10700K. So it just falls under a little bit, but what's the GPU? And the GPU of a PS5 would be equivalent to a RTX 2070 Super, which is pretty good. I mean, that absolutely blows our GTX 980 away. So it's no comparison there. So that's what's inside my PC.